TFNN Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday, three hours left to go in the trading day. We got markets in positive territory right now. Dow Jones up 179 points, trading 28,923. Get the Nasdaq up 52, trading at 9181. S&P's up nine points, trading at 3269. Gold contract, Negative action down about nine dollars at fifteen fifty. Oil off nine pennies at fifty nine fifty two. And the dollar index with some strength up one hundred and fifty eight ticks at ninety seven four fifty eight. We start things off, and we're going to start it off with a pretty interesting story and uh, pretty remarkable in terms of the geopolitical tensions that are all over the place. And this story about the Boeing airplane that went down two days ago, right after the missiles started to fly in Iran. And unfortunately, it looks like those missiles were fired by Iran, maybe a friendly fire case in terms of but missile strike seen by U.S. as likely cause of the Iranian crash. U.S. intelligence officials increasingly believe that the Ukrainian jet that fell from the sky after taking off from Tehran on Wednesday was shot down by a missile. Two surface to air missile launches were detected from an Iranian battery minutes after the jet took off. Unfortunately, 176 people, a lot of Canadians on that plane, a lot of loss of human life. Interesting to see how that plays out for the market. Jumping back to the indices, we'll start things off with the Dow. 28,884, almost made it up to 29,000. We were about 50 points away from that level right at noon. NASDAQ 100 actually made it above 9,000 early in the day, currently trading 89.78. There's your S&Ps. We reach a record of 32.75 right at about noon. We're about seven points off that level at 32.68. Crude oil with some volatility as well. We were actually under $59 early this morning, currently trading at $59.44. There's your gold contract, $15.51. Overnight, quite an acceleration. We saw a low in gold of $15.41, so about $10 above that level. And as we've seen some dollar strength, we've seen euro weakness, euro trading at one eleven oh four. In terms of fundamental news out there, weekly jobless claims coming in at 214000 for last week. This ahead of non-farm payrolls tomorrow morning. And in terms of the retail sector, we want to talk about taking a hit. Kohl's down almost 10% on their numbers. JCPenney down 11.6%. Stay tuned, folks. we got our man Steve Rhodes coming up with the Trader's Edge right now. Dave White live at 2 o'clock. Tom O'Brien live from 3 till 4. We'll be right back. 